Hey, how's it going? And today we're just taking a quick look at removing an item from a map. I had done a video on this before, but I was following straight out of the documentation and I set it up as a function, but I thought it'd be better to show you how to do it without doing it as a function. Anyway, I'm just in a blank template project here and I've got a verse device in the scene and this is all in the code. So we'll just take a look at this really quick. I've got my verse modules up here on top. And then what we do here on this first line of code is we instantiate a map and I'm calling this as a variable, I'm calling it my map. And the key, what they call the key is the string, is a string data type. And then the value, what they call the value is an integer. So an array always has to be of the same data type, but a map can have two different data types. One is the key and one as the value. So here what I did is I set it up almost like precious metal. So we use the keyword map and then the curly braces. And so I've got gold at 200, silver at 25, bronze at three, and platinum at 100. And so I have my map set up. And this is just to remove one element is we have to create a variable, a new map. And basically it's a, it's a blank empty map here. So we're creating another whole new map because we're going to transfer these assets into this new map. So then what we create is a for loop and we have to set it this way, set it up this way. We create a key hyphen angle bracket value right here. And then we have it go through, iterate through my map. And as it's iterating through, we set this up that key is not equal to bronze. So what this will do is essentially exclude bronze from being populated into the new map. It's going to filter this out as this iterates through these four elements. It's going to say this doesn't, when it gets to bronze, it's going to say, oh, it doesn't equal it, so it's going to skip it. And then as we iterate through, then we're going to call this concatenate and we're going to put a new map and then another map keyword comma in brackets key to value here and what this is going to do is basically populate a new map as we iterate through this old map we're going to append a new concatenate merge a new map and i think in the last tutorial this is where i stopped is i just created a new map but what you can then do once you've created the new map is you can set the new map to the old map. So in that sense, you're just updating. Then now you have a new map. And then what we do here is just to verify that we've in fact removed this element, this bronze. We just, we set this up. I just called it element. And it's gonna iterate one time through over these the map and print out all the values that are here. So what we'd expect to see is 200, 25, and 100. Because if we want to remove an element, something from the map, we need to remove the key, is what we do. So essentially we remove the key, and that removes the value. So anyway, the values in the map should be 200, 25, and 100, because we've removed bronze. And then this is just a custom print string. So that's, that's how you do it. It's kind of... But it's not, I didn't set it up as a function because I thought that would be not necessarily, you wouldn't want to necessarily set it up as a function. So this is just a straightforward way of doing it, but you could set it up as a function. So anyway, so I guess we can come in here and I don't think I changed anything, but let me build the code and then I'll just push those changes and we'll see if we see those numbers. So... What numbers are they again? <laughs> 225 and 100. So we should expect to see 225 and 100. So no number three. Okay. That looks like it loaded. So let's hit start and see if those are the numbers that we see. Yep, 225 and 100 and no number three. So we did successfully remove a key and value from our map.